Horseshoe Nebula is about 5 times 10 to the 3 light years. So 5 times 10 to the 3 light years away from Earth. One light year, right? One light year, or should I write this? Let's see. One light year equals, a, or for every one light year we travel, 5.9 times 10 to the 12 miles. What is the distance in miles between Earth and the Horseshoe Nebula? So, in, in other words, how many miles, question mark, how many miles do we travel if we go this many light years? So, to go from one light year to this, I have to multiply one by five times ten to the third. So, to keep this relationship proportional, I have to multiply 5.9 times ten to the twelfth by five times ten to the third. And that will tell me the number of miles. And this is actually a nice question because we are multiplying and we can rearrange the order here and regroup in any way we want. We could use the commutative and associative properties of multiplication. And the commutative property tells us that we can change the order without, without affecting the answer or the product. And the associative property says we can regroup without affecting the value of the product. So I'm going to regroup and rearrange so that I have 5.9 times 5, I'm going to make that one group, and that times 10 to the 12th times 10 to the 3rd. I'm going to regroup that. 10 to the 12th times 10 to the 3rd is what? Well, that's equal to 10 to the 15th. That's using the laws of exponents to the same bases. We add the exponents. And 5.9 times 5 is the, is the same thing. I, I'm going to think of it as 5 times 6 which is 30, but I've, I've multiplied 0.1 too many fives, because I'm supposed to only multiply 5.9, and that's equal to 0.5, right? What does that equal? Well, 30 minus 0.5 equals 29.5. So we have 29.5 times 10 to the 15th. That's the distance. But notice we don't have that, that option anywhere here. So we have to, it's either going to be A or B, right? C or D or out. And they want to write this in scientific notation. So what's going to happen? Well, first we have 29.5 times 10 to the 15th. To write this in scientific notation, we have to change this first number to something between 1 and 10. So I'm going to put the decimal point here after the 2. Because when I do that, I get 2.95, which is between 1 and 10. So what did I just do? I, I took 29.5 and I move the decimal point one place to the left. So I divided by 10. I made this number 10 times smaller, right? Because 2.95 is 10 times smaller than 29.5. But I don't want to change the value of my number. So if I made this part of our number 10 times smaller, I should make this part of the number 10 times larger. So that's going to be 10 to the 16. And there, I'm just keeping balance because these two numbers, 2.95 times 10 to the 16 and 29.5 times 10 to the 15 are equivalent. We're just rewriting this so it's in scientific notation. So I would pick choice A, 2.95 times 10 to the 16. All right, hope that helped.